welcome back guys in the previous video we registered our user into a database successfully after encrypting the password now in this video we are going to create the functionality for a login login form now we will log in our user based on their credentials so in the index.php uh, provide an action url to the form process slash auth user dot php and create a file inside process folder with the name auth user dot php now we are going to follow the same same thing that we did in our registration page register user dot php page username dollar post Oops. Square brackets. Password. Now we'll call our database file. Classes. DB connect dot PHP. Now we create an object from that class and we will call a new function that is auth user and we provide username and password. And if we if the result is true, if the user is authentic user is a valid user, then we will wait for two seconds and then we will send the user to our home page that is localhost tutorials basic auth slash home dot php we will create this file afterwards and then die else simply die for now and pass the message that invalid credentials and here we'll pass some message if the user is a valid user then login successful redirecting Now we will create this function inside our dbconnect .php it's public function oops I copied the wrong code um, auth user we need this function here auth user so username password now the user is going to give us the actual username uh, username and password through which he registered previously and we have our encrypted password saved into our database system so first we need to fetch the password of the user with the username that has been provided to us and after that we will verify the password the password is same matches then we will authenticate the user otherwise not so for that first we need to fetch the user with the with this username for that we will create a function this check user by username and pass the username here now we'll create this function wait write the SQL query select uh, all from T login where username equal to the username that is being passed here now we'll follow the same procedure that we did 
to registration prepare the query now execute the query and pass the variable username and we'll get the user here fetch all this is again an inbuilt function in the PDO class it will fetch all the entries matching through this query and will give us a result in the form of an associative array now return the user we also need to make one more check if count user is equal equal one then and then only return the user else return false or return null because we are expecting only one user with that username and if the user has if uh, there are multiple user with the same username then there is some problem into our database system so we don't want to authenticate that user because then it get ambiguous so we'll simply check if there's only one username present then return the user otherwise return null now this is going to return either the user or null so we'll save it in the variable user now if it is not empty that is if it is not null then we are going to verify the password password verifies again an input function to PHP and uh, here we pass the string normal string and here we pass the salt that is the encrypted password and this is how we access the password field that is that if we have fetched from the database and it is going to return a boolean again so if the password verifies then return true which means that the user is an authentic user, is a valid user, as written false. And the last written false. If everything, if nothing's right, then written false. So yeah, that is it, I guess. And now we'll check it in our auth user. We have already written this code. Now let's quickly go on to our root folder index.php and we'll check against our database username was password and password was 123 now if you click on this login button here okay we are getting an error password I think again oh silly silly mistake the password again s actually we copied this code into a register page and the same error occurred so now again we have to refresh the page and repeat the whole procedure Button one to three login. Check by username line thirty five. Line thirty five. Check user by username. Oh, it's a function. I think errors are good. And login successful, and we will be redirected to our home page. Or not okay no problem but uh, our login was successful and you can see if we enter the wrong password say enter gibberish and click login button it will give us invalid credentials because now the user is not an authentic user so this is a working authentication system in PHP I hope you enjoyed this video and the next video we are going to create a home.php page and we will limit the user from accessing the page which are not meant to be accessed unless